Hi there folks, in today's demonstration I'm going to extend upon the video that I did last week which demonstrated how to create a draft email using Graph API and Power Automate. Today I'm going to bring that functionality into an agent in Copilot Studio and then deploy that custom agent into Microsoft 365 Copilot so that I've now got the capability of creating drafts directly from Microsoft 365 Copilot. So to kick things off, I'm already in Copilot Studio, and you can see down the bottom right-hand side, I have my question ready to ask my agent. But just to set the scene, this particular agent has very basic instructions about generating draft emails. It has only its own knowledge based on the training up to October 2023. But of course, I could add data from SharePoint, etc to give this particular agent grounding on my own data. And if you're interested in a slower paced video on how to build agents, I recommend you check out my live video, which I'll add up here. Then I have actions, that's the task-based capability, creating a draft email. And I'll explore this flow later on. You'll notice that it is a flow and not an action. There is a very good reason for this. Maybe you can guess why. So I'll jump down to the bottom right hand side. I'll send this message to my agent and there's a special prize for anyone that can count the number of times that I've said Copilot during this demonstration. So we can see I've sent the message, it's created a draft and if I jump across into my Outlook, I have a sample email going to demunitexample.com with the story of Microsoft and its milestones. This has all been generated dynamically, and of course, the draft has been inserted into my mailbox based on me as the authenticated user. Now, if I jump across onto Microsoft 365 Copilot, at the top right-hand side, you'll see that I have my draft email agent deployed. Now, that's through the channels capability within Copilot Studio. You can now natively deploy to Microsoft 365 Copilot, albeit at the time of this video, it's in preview. With my Copilot 365 agent currently grounded on the web, if I was to ask it to help me with the content of an email to tell the story of Microsoft once more, same as I did over in Copilot Studio just earlier, you can see that it's generated an email and I could now simply copy and paste that into a draft email over an Outlook. But if I was to ask it, can you generate this as a draft email in my Outlook. Let's see what happens. It tells me that it can't do this natively, but of course we built an agent to do this. Now, before I do go and create a draft email, who knows that you can actually save the content of your discussions with Microsoft 365 Copilot in a Word file or indeed in an Excel file or a PowerPoint file. If I was to ask, save this to a Word document like so and hit enter, It'll actually save this into a newly created Word document that I can then download and save and use elsewhere. And we'll see if I click on that, it will download the sample file. And if I open it, it's now saved into a Word document. So back into the challenge at hand, can we create a draft email from Microsoft 365 Copilot? Well, if I at mention my specialist draft email agent, I can ask it to create a draft email to bob at example.com and another copy for trevor at example.com. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the context at this point, so it sounds counterintuitive, but I need to copy the sample email that was just generated via Microsoft 365 Copilot and paste that into our conversation window below. But when I hit send, the agent completes. And if I jump across into Outlook, not only can I see that original email that was generated, I can now see those two samples that were generated for both Bob and Trevor using my Microsoft 365 Copilot, which called my custom agent from Copilot Studio. Now this ultimately got me thinking, this is the low code way of extending your agents in Microsoft 365 Copilot. What other type capabilities would you like to see in your Copilot experience? Let me know in the comments below. Jumping back across onto Copilot Studio, I mentioned that the action that I've included for this capability is based on a flow rather than an action. Now, if I go into add an action and search for the send an HTTP request, 
which is the action you'll have seen in my video from last week. If I select that, I'll quickly explain why using this action out of the box is not so easy. So this particular action, if you're using it directly in your agent, you would go through the process of changing the name and giving it a description and setting up user authentication. But under the inputs, you can then specify the URI and the method, which is the graph endpoint and the post. But then if I go into add, in terms of other input parameters, we have the body. And the body is ultimately an object, which is very structured. It must have certain fields. It needs to have the subject, the two, the content of the actual email. And so asking your agent to create this dynamically is not something that you're going to have much success on currently. So if I cancel out of this and pop open the config for this flow, you can see that not only have I given this flow a name, it's create a draft email, there is a description to enable the agent to understand its purpose. If we have a look at the inputs, which is the more important capability here, we can see that the to is based on a dynamic fill. Therefore, it's the email address to send the draft to, and I explained that I wanted to send it to two people when I was using Microsoft 365 Copilot, and only one person when I did the demo on the right-hand side earlier, directly from within Copilot Studio. The subject, again, is based on dynamic fill, where I've specified that subject. And then the body, again, is based on a dynamic fill, the email body in HTML format. Now, these are input parameters, and those input parameters are something that I can specify as part of building a custom flow. And if I jump across into that flow and we have a look at the trigger for that flow, which is manual, it runs a flow from Copilot, you can see that I've defined those three input parameters, the two, the subject and the body. Then once I have those input parameters, I'm able to call that action, send an HTTP request. And that send an HTTP request has the endpoint, it has the method, but then dynamically, I'm able to set the subject, which is based on the text from the input trigger. I've got the body, which is also based on the text from the trigger. And then I've got the email address, again, based on that input parameter that's passed from our agent. Then I've got some parallel branching. The left-hand side is currently set up to run when the action above succeeds, because there are occasions when it might fail, and you can see that the email draft was created okay. On the right-hand side, I've got a slightly different response. The email draft was not created, and to try again later. And if we have a look at the settings, we can see that if I pop this run after open, I've set it up to only run the right-hand branch if it's timed out, skipped, or has failed. And that allows you to create some form of error handling for your agent so that it knows if the email has been successfully created or unsuccessfully created. Jumping back across into Copilot Studio, if I quickly pop open channels, you can see this newly renamed channel here, Teams and Microsoft 365. If I select that, the change here is now that you can tick Make Agent Available in Microsoft 365 Copilot. This is a new capability currently in preview, but if I do this and then publish the bot, it'll mean that it's available to me as an end user to start using in Microsoft 365 Copilot. And you'll see that if I jump back across onto Microsoft 365 Copilot, I have a series of additional agents that I've created the create item and also the task manager that of course I can speak to either individually or if I'm in an existing conversation, I can at mention like I did earlier with my draft email agent. And so I'd just like to take this moment to say thank you very much to my new members who've recently joined my channel. Of course, I have the separate community where I have the fortnightly calls and I'd like to thank everyone that interacts with my content, shares it, likes it, comments, etc. Thank you very much for your continued engagement. Two other exciting things to announce. I will be speaking in Dusseldorf at the end of May for the European Collaboration Summit. And then in the middle of June, I'm off to the European Power Platform Conference in Vienna. For both of these events, I'll be speaking about Copilot Studio, and I'm very excited to meet you all. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again sometime soon. Cheers.